Today we're checking out 20 viral basketball hacks to see if they work. This is the true focus basketball target. You put it on the net. Now Steph Curry, the greatest shooter of all time, says he looks at the front of the rim. I've never heard anyone say look at the middle of the net before. I'm not sure if a basketball player made this product. It broke! Try it from the side. Nope. It feels really weird. Yeah, I don't like that at all. Zero out of 10. We got two more shooting devices. I have the flick glove, so pretty much it pulls your fingers down so you have that perfect flick of the wrist. And I got the pro shot, so it's like helping me space my fingers on the ball when I'm shooting. See how my flick is. Oh. Yo, wait, that was actually one of the nicest flicks I've ever had. Look at the flick of the wrist. It like, helps you. Wait, yeah, actually, your flick is I am crazy, messing with this. You're like all the way down here. Yeah. I mean, I'm three for three. I don't really struggle with spacing my fingers on the ball, though, but my fingers are not normally where they are, so that's good, I guess. Oh, yeah. It doesn't feel as unnatural as the other products, so that's good. Damn, that boy spaced after the flick. My jump shot is confused after all these products. But honestly, that is my favorite shooting product yet, so I'm gonna give it an eight out of 10. Yeah, I'm giving the Pro Shot a four and a half out of 10. Next up, we have some basketball dribble gloves. So these gloves have a little half ball right here, so it forces you to use your fingertips. You literally can't use your palm. Oh, sauce. Oh, that man, a fingertip dribbler. And I think this is awesome because it strengthens the fingertips, being forced to use it every single dribble. This is a dub. Nine out of 10. Johnny, do you ever wish you could jump like John ja Morant? I do, every day, actually. Well, now you can, because we have plyometric jumping shoes that are supposed to increase your vertical jump. You wear these on the basketball court, you're gonna be dominant. Apparently, they make you jump higher. They look crazy. We're gonna test out the shoes, stung you on different heights with both of the shoes starting. Eight foot five in the KDs. Hey, nine foot. Nine and a half feet. Hey! Big disclaimer, I'm not the young chicken I once was. I've gained 30 pounds in the last year, so I don't know if I can dunk on 10 feet, so we're trying nine foot nine. Oh. Ah! Okay, we're there, we're there, we're there. Big boy, 10 foot. It's soft, but you count that, right? Oh, uh, you count that. Shoes are on. This is crazy! Oh yeah, I feel like I could sauce someone in these, dude. J99s, baby. First dunk. Felt like I was flying. Definitely got some pep in my step. Feel the springiness. We'll try a two foot jump. Ooh. Okay. Yeah, when I'm wearing these, I feel like I'm six five. Like it has to be like three inches, right? Did you say I look six five or like six four with these? Probably like six four and a half. Damn. Add a little pizzazz. Tween. Uh. Dude, I legit feel bouncier. I literally feel like I'm on like clouds. <laughs> like I'm like Zion. Nine, nine, here we go. Oh my God. 10 foot. <laughs> it just feels weird, like running, jumping with these, but I got an even lighter dunk on them, so kind of evened out, but realistically, this is an injury waiting to happen. This next hack is a way to improve your basketball handles. Pretty much a sack for the ball. What's a ball without a sack? If you don't want to buy this person's product, you could use a grocery bag. Harder to grip the ball, so hopefully you'll get better handles from it. I like these ones, man. Take it off. Handles are about to feel juicy. Johnny's all the way over there because this is a hack to get past your defender. Let's check it out. Okay, you grab the rope and pull. Okay, grab the shirt and pull. That's a street ball move right there. Oh yeah! Yeah! What's up? What? That was almost an ankle breaker too, bro. You yeah, are flying. Is that not a foul? <laughs> no. 10 out of 10, definitely use that one. All right, so this is the defense tip. Once you know where that shot pocket is, you can really stunt. Ooh, this so is true. A right side shooter, I'm just stunting my left hand towards that right side. That's gonna make him very uncomfortable. I know this one works because that's how I defend, actually. I want you to be on offense. Be on offense? I bet you can't score a jumper on me. <laughs> oh, your hand was all in my grill. That was short, that was all up in his grill. The next one is the shooting block. So when you're taught how to shoot, they teach you 90 degree angle, right? To reinforce that, this will sit right here while you shoot. All right. <laughs> That Does is not so feel bizarre. Comfortable. <laughs> it's just like, <laughs> it's just hitting you every time. How'd it feel though? It feels like you can't put any power on your shot. I feel like I'm shooting like, I can see why it would help though, but this is just not a very comfortable position to be in. Hey. Oh yeah. It's definitely messing with my power levels. Nope. Yeah. This is weird. 
My shot feels weird. Zero out of 10. Do you remember in the movie Space Jam when Michael Jordan extended his arm from half court on the Monstars and dunked it? I do remember that. Well, we actually have a product that lets you do that. What? Are you ready? I have created Michael Jordan's arm. Now pretend we're playing 1v1 and I bring this with me. Check up. Ball has been checked. Yay! <laughs> it doesn't work every time. Not everyone can be like Michael Jordan, boys. Next hack. We're gonna react to a hack that should make it easier to dunk a basketball. So he's putting Velcro strips on the backboard and Velcro strips on the ball. Putting the ball stuck to the backboard. Mm, okay, oh, so you I jump up, grab it, and then dunk it. Got the Velcro strips on the ball and Velcro strips on my very busted basketball hoop. Well, let's try it. Nice. All right. That looks way higher than 10 feet. Whoa. <laughs> Some of the net just broke. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> the Velcro really stuck it on there. <laughs> the, the net came off again. Velcro is strong! <laughs> the Velcro is too strong. I don't recommend this one. Next up is the Shot Coach. It's another shooting aid. Now this product has a four star review on Amazon. So it might be good. So pretty much on your off hand, it makes it so you don't thumb the ball. Then it also keeps your hands very close together. So we'll see if it helps your jump shot. Well, it's not comfortable, I'll tell you that. <laughs> Maybe you need to shoot a free throw. <laughs> It's like you literally don't have any power. Who shoots like this? This is not fun. You might get bullied if you wear this too. Might, I think that's a for sure thing. Oh God, it feels very constricting. Definitely not thumbing the ball. Obviously we only took a couple shots with it. I'm not the biggest fan of these ones, but I'll give it a five out of 10. Got another shooting hack. POV, you learned the secret. Well, that what? Kid, that kid is cash. Yeah, that is like an NBA three. He didn't even tell me the secret. I get it. Every time he shoots, he doesn't just like shoot the ball. He like comes down to like a like set low, powerful position on his lamello. Like I'm not the best person <laughs> to demonstrate this, but I know what he's talking about. I guess the secret's getting low. Stroke that thing, cuzzo! Twerk on him, baby. You weren't expecting that, were you? That's a lethal celebration too. My flick is now so powerful, I can make it from all the way over here. If I do, you have to subscribe. Subscribe. Next hack. Johnny, is your jump shot still broke? I'm afraid so. Well, we have the big shot. Ooh. It's a big basketball, a little size comparison. If you can make it with the big shot, you can make it with any ball. That is true, science. Oh, it's heavy. It's very heavy compared to a regular ball. It's like when you shoot with a guy's ball and then you shoot with a girl's ball. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I don't know why this is gonna make my regular jump shot better, but I guess it will. This literally feels like a girl's ball. I don't get this one. Three out of 10. Got another shooting hack. This shooting hack is a cheat code for a knockdown cheat joker. Cheat code for a knockdown. I see a lot of players guide hand getting in the way of them being a good shooter. So I want you to take a mm. coin and put it in between your thumb and your index finger. This eliminates the thumb flick and makes yep, sure your yep. off hand functions just as a guide hand. Another trick to get rid of the thumbing. Now Johnny, there should be a quarter behind your ear. Is there? Oof. What the heck? It's a magic trick too. Let's try it. You definitely like actually cannot thumb the ball. Oh. No thumbs, only quarters. Woo! I'm gonna try this one as well. Oh God. <laughs> it messed with me. Nice. Give this one a 25 out of 100. Got a hack for finishing. Let's check it out. If you miss your layups long like this and you got no type of touch off the glass, mm. here's a really weird hack. Pump up your basketball, over inflate it so okay. it's nice and bouncy. Now, every time you go in for a layup, it's gonna bounce off the backboard harder, which forces you to have a softer touch. Now, challenge your layups. As soon as you make a couple in a row, switch up the layup, oh. make it a little bit harder. As you get better, you can bring in more speed. I like this right. one. You got our inflated ball? Let's get some layups going. There it is. Reverse layup. Tween. Oh, no! Yes. What about a finger roll? No backboard? Hey. I'm gonna give this one a W. If you wanna work on your touch, it's a good idea. I'm gonna react to this hack, see if it's legit. Need grip? Try, Try this, this hack. hack. The shoes do be slidey a little bit. Hey, okay. taking out the hand sand? Good to always be nice and sand. Ooh. Wasting hand sanitizer? Not wasting hand sanitizer. Mm. I mean, he's cleaning the bottom of his shoes. True. So there's any dirt, gook on it? 99% of bacteria. Ooh, that squeak. Let's try it out. Okay. Get on the hardwood, go to the indoor court. He's got a little squeak. I do not have a squeak. My shoes were already pretty grippy before this. 
But I got some squeak now, so I guess it kind of works. Approved. Nice. This is a hack to shoot from farther distance, curry range. We're gonna talk about the sweep. This is what the your feet sweep. sweep. Jump on your jump shot. So now, you do what you jump. Commonly, and this is what a lot of coaches will tell you, is that you're supposed to land in the same spot, right? Be on balance. Jump straight right? up and down. Straight up and down. Wrong. Get it. Oh, wrong. just kidding. For most players, right? So instead of jumping straight up and down and landing on the same spot, we want to generate more momentum. Mm. Into your Pause. I like that he's showing an NBA example. Now, both Lonzo and Lamelo are doing a much Ooh, better job. Balls. Have a controlled sweep where when they jump, mm. they might start on the three point line and end just maybe like a foot or a foot and a half inside. I like that. And the farther you are from the rim, the more you got to jump forward. True. More momentum. Johnny, rate my feet sweep. Oh! The foot sweep was good, but almost made it. All right. Maybe I need to get lower too. Maybe Combine the other half. Oh, that was a 10 oh, yeah. out of 10. That was a 10 out of 10 foot sweep before like you even made it. Mm. Yeah, that was great. Big foot sweep right here. Oh yeah, that was beautiful. Oh, take two. Oh, that was a great foot sweep though. I felt it. Got another ball handling hack. Here we What's go. up, guys? Filipino Kyrie, and I'm gonna attempt to dribble this football again. Filipino Kyrie is practicing dribbling with a football. That's pretty crazy. There's Did a you chicken. hear that chicken? That was a chicken. Or the turkey. <laughs> Something's gobbling. I actually seen videos of Allen Iverson actually dribbling a football. He like could actually like full like crossover like dribble. He's one of the best ball handers of all time. Maybe we're up to something. If you can dribble a football, you can probably dribble anything. So the oblong ball. Oh my! <laughs> he made it look easy. Oh god. Yeah, just keep it going, dude. That is actually difficult. <laughs> he was doing those little quick ones too. Yeah, those ones look a little bit easier. That is so difficult. This one definitely isn't practical. Alan Iverson's just showing off. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Check out our sports gadgets and other basketball hacks videos popping up. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.